Hello everybody, this is Big Bear, Tony Sandoval. Um, this is a little segment for uh, a little bit of talking about libertarianism. I want to start posting. I'm not very good at keyboards on these little phones and uh, tablets, so I want to use take advantage of the video function. It's been working for me with uh, my chats about beekeeping. So I thought I'd take advantage of and try to... There's people that I talk to that I want to have a calm, rational discussion about... Uh, libertarianism and what it really is I think people have a, a misunderstanding uh, sometimes often confuse libertarianism with anarchism uh, most people having the idea you know uh, no rules no government no anything you know just all out uh, cronyism crony capitalism you know uh, the buck comes before the person, and that, that would fall more under crony capitalism and arch, anarchism than uh, 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 libertarianism. It, it really is not libertarianism, that concept. Uh, but it's been pitched that way by so many people trying to push their own little agendas that they've maligned the idea. Um, and that's why I'm here. I want to try to correct some of those concepts. Libertarian people, minded people, are all about individual liberty. They're about freedom. They're about, we have the, the, the first lines. We have natural rights given to us. You can call it God, call it Mother Nature, call it the force of the universe, uh, call it the happy accident. I don't really give a patoot what you call it. There's something out there that made us what we are. And based on what that something is that gave us those natural rights that the Declaration of Independence talks about. Uh, life to rights to life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, among others. Okay, Those are our natural rights. We have to have something that protects those natural rights, recognizes these are rights that aren't granted or removed by people. Because if we don't recognize that there is some force beyond us, that gave us those natural rights, then that means people are the end-all, be-all of the hierarchy of power of authority, and that people can take those natural rights from us. Now, we're, hello, it's communism. Hello, fascism. Okay, that's how you get to those points, because people then believe, well, if people are the highest power, then people can take those natural rights. We can give them, we can take them. No, no, you can't. We have natural rights because some creative force. I have my own ideas. Everybody else has their own ideas. I don't care if you're an atheist or an agnostic or whatever. Call it what you want to, but whatever that force is that's beyond us, we have natural rights that people, other people, cannot take away from the individual. That's what we're trying to protect. We want to make sure, as libertarian-type people, minded people, those individual natural rights are guaranteed to every individual. It may not be pleasant. You know, there are people who go out there and say stupid things. Monumentally stupid. I don't have to agree with them. I don't have to like it. But I have to let them say stupid things. There are people who go out there and do incredibly stupid things. Put themselves in danger because they want to be... Here, hold my beer, watch me do this. Hey, look at me, I'm such a tough guy, I can go do that. And then they get themselves splattered all over a sidewalk or a street. And everybody else says, oh my gosh, you know, oh, we got to stop people from doing stuff like that to themselves. You know what? In order to make sure that every individual is capable of making their own decisions for their own life, their natural right, pursuit of happiness, and not doing something stupid, we have to let the stupid people do their stupid things too. We don't have to like it. We don't have to involve ourselves with it. We don't have to appreciate it or anything. We, we, we can mock it all day long. It's fine. But we have to let them do those things that even if we don't like what they're doing. As long as they don't get any on us. I don't get my stuff on you. You don't get any on me and we're going to be just fine. The minute you start forcing your stuff on me, now there's a problem. Okay? Okay. Just like I can't force any of what I personally think, believe, whatever, want to do on you. That's libertarianism. Yes, 
People will do and say stupid things that get themselves in trouble. And as long as they're just getting themselves in trouble, let them. You can't help people who don't want to be helped. And, you know, I'm going to say it. You can't fix stupid. Some people just have to be allowed to be stupid. That's also a libertarian point of view. If we're going to let the smart people be smart, the wise people be wise, then we have to let the stupid people be stupid. We don't have to like it, but we have to let them. We have to be tolerant. We don't have to agree with it, but we have to let them have their ideas and thoughts. We don't have to support them on it either. Just because they think they are whatever, we don't have to. Your right to be say what you want about the government or anything else, your freedom of speech goes as far as you. Just because you want me to agree doesn't mean I have to agree. I don't even have to listen to you. You have the right to say it. I can walk on by and ignore you. I don't have to say anything. I can be standing here. You can watch 10 seconds of this video, say, my God, what a moron, and walk away. That's fine. You have every right to do that. It's That's what makes it beautiful. That's what makes it great. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in these videos. Individual liberty. Libertarianism. The rights of individuals, the natural rights, how we protect those rights, how we keep the government in as little of a powerful position as possible so that it can only do the one job it was supposed to do. Okay? We can't... The, the, the government serves us. The Constitution delineates and s limits the power of the government. It was... I'll get into this later in another video. It was not made to give us freedoms. We have the freedoms. It already says anything not specifically lined out in this, this, this paper for the government automatically defaults to the states and the people. Right there, right there tells us the government is limited. It is not meant to be in control. It is not meant to be in charge. They are not the boss. They're there to do a job, a specific job, and that's it. That's what libertarianism is all about. The individual, individual rights, natural rights, government limited to the little bit of a job it was given and nothing more. Little small groups. Uh, liberty, do we know what liberty is? Do you know liberty means not having to live under the oppressive rule of government? Not just governments, though. Religious groups, social groups, okay? The KKK, a social group, is a social group. We don't have to let them run our lives. Just because the KKK or the Freemasons or uh, Black Lives Matter or any social organization, they can come up and tell you anything they want to. Don't mean you have to do it. Tough cookies. Individual liberty. Constitution, our Declaration of Independence protects that, respects that. We need the people who work under that to respect it as well. Religious groups, you're a Catholic, wonderful, I'm happy for you. You're a born again Christian, you're a Jew, you're a Muslim, you're, I don't know, Easter bunny laid eggs which turns into everybody's spirit. I, whatever, I don't care. Okay? Keep it to yourself. Your religion is between you and your creator. Okay? Talk, share amongst yourselves, share amongst others, express ideas, express uh, agreement and consensus amongst yourselves if you want to, but you do not get to tell anybody else how to live their life here in America, here in the United States. That's liberty. Freedom from the oppressive rule from tyrannical rule of governments, social groups, religious groups, any other group that would sit there and tell you how to live your life, what you have to do, no, they don't get to tell you that. Libertarians are here to make sure that it stays that way. Individual comes first in this country. All the rights are started here. Next time I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about how the 
Constitution is a contract. It is written as a contract. I'm going to explain in more detail why that contract is so important to us, so important to me, so important to you, to look at it as a contract. That'll be the next time, though. For now, nice to meet you. I uh, hope you're interested in following along, and uh, have a good one.